Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs with a short video about three little improvements on this uh, 100 watt constant current battery charge meter or however you want to call it. First of all, I was a little bit annoyed by the fine control of the coarse and fine current setting potentiometers. So I've replaced the fine potentiometer with a 10 turn uh, pot so that now Let's see when it starts to set in. So that now we can really adjust the current very precisely at the low end range uh, down to the resolution of the ADC. Uh, second thing, there was a suggestion just to compensate for the voltage drop here in the voltage measurement, uh, just to use a kind of four terminal connection so I've tapped off the voltage divider for the voltage measurement, which is here, these two little SMD resistors, which you just can't see because the cooling fan is directly above them. I've tapped off a wire and led it more or less directly uh, to the battery terminal. Well, not directly because that's the third improvement. Uh, you might remember this, that this thing doesn't have a, an automatic turn off, below a certain settable voltage and that could drain your uh, battery down to zero which is not very good for a rechargeable battery. So I made this little uh, circuit here with three pre-programmed cutoff or turn off voltages. Uh, you can cycle through them with a push button. When both LEDs are off uh, the whole circuit is turned off a one LED or the number one LED means one volt cutoff voltage for single cells. The second LED is for two volts turn off for three volt lithium batteries. And when both LEDs are lit, then it means 10 volt cutoff for uh, 12 volt lead acid batteries or similar. And this thing has two special features. Uh, first of all, you can see this little 5 volt relay, which is directly controlled by the microcontroller and ATtiny25. For measuring the cutoff voltage, this is not done under load, but for 100 milliseconds, the battery is disconnected from the constant current load, uh, so that this thing measures the voltage in an unloaded state. Otherwise, the internal ohmic resistance of the battery plus the ohmic resistance here of the cables would come into play. And it does this every four seconds. And when the cutoff or turnoff voltage is reached, it cuts off, but it turns on again with a hysteresis of 30% around. Uh, so when the voltage recovers to a certain minimum values around 30% above the cutoff voltage. So for example, for the 12 volt battery, when it returns to around 12 volt, then the discharging continues. Um, so this is uh, quite universal uh, for all those constant current loads that don't have an uh, automatic or programmable turn off uh, voltage. If you're interested, I will uh, give you a link to the circuit. It's uh, quite simple, just a few components and uh, uh, of course also to the firmware. And so let's try this thing out and see if the cutoff function really works. Now it's set now to 10 volts. Of course, the internal reference of the ATtiny has a tolerance of 10%. Uh, so the calculated turn off values are not exactly met. Um, so we will see this in a moment. If we crank up the current and we always have to wait for four seconds and if we go for example to 10 volt voltage under load or now 9.8 you can see now that the voltage matches relatively good with the improvised four terminal measurement uh, the voltage but it does not yet turn off because um, during measurement, when the load is disconnected, uh, the voltage recovers. Uh, you can see this 
sometimes goes to zero volts. That's, that's the short moment when the load is disconnected. And so we will have to turn up the power a little bit more to reach the cutoff voltage. Still, even at 8 volts under load, because this battery has developed quite a high internal resistance, it does not yet turn off. Now the fan is starting and what I uh, in the last video noted that the timer was not running. The timer only starts running above a certain current. So at very low currents the timer simply doesn't start. And the fan turns on when a certain wattage is reached that is dissipated in the MOSFET. So we're still not cutting off. And now we finally reached the cutoff voltage. Don't, don't wonder that we had only 6 volts under load. That's uh, because really this battery has such a high internal resistance. You can see the voltage recovers quite quickly above the 10 volt cutoff voltage. And when it reaches 12 volts, I'll turn back the current a little bit, then it will switch on again. It takes of course a few seconds. And you see it has turned on again because the battery has recovered. So I'm uh, quite happy with this addition uh, to make this thing really usable for me for heavy loads. But in the meantime another ca constant current battery discharge meter has arrived. Uh, this one here which I've waited for three months and only the the second attempt uh, gave it and this one is really perfect. I will introduce it and test it in one of the next video but this one is just 10 bucks and really perfect has all the features that I was seeking for and so for today that was it. Thanks for watching until next time. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs.